One by one, Whistlerites from all walks of life file into their weekly figure drawing class. Day job behind them, pencil in hand, each is suddenly transformed into an artist. There's people who show up that are the regular locals, tattoo artists that are practicing their skills, someone who's studied in fine arts but they've never picked up a pencil for 20 years. So we'll do the usual, just maybe a couple short poses. We're going to have Jennifer just draped a bit for now. We usually start with the really short poses, practice kind of just the gesture of the pose. It can be something that's just a simple line that identifies the curve of the body. And then as we develop, we start to add more of the muscle tone, the detail, the shadow. The age-old art, one of dozens of community programs offered here at the Whistler Arts Council's Millennium Place location. As the city's cultural hub for close to 35 years, the classes are as varied as its participants themselves, offering paint, drawing, photography, guitar, Spanish lessons, and more. For volunteers such as Sheila, it's about stepping outside oneself. Each sketch diving deeper into a world of self-discovery. It's nice, the common ground is art and drawing and people are coming that have no experience, which is really fun. My personal experience is I had a nine to five drafting job, a lot of linear kind of drawing components and I came to life drawing just to break, break out of that. You meet a lot of different people and people you probably wouldn't talk to kind of just passing by. One of those people, Philippa, growing up immersed in the arts, taking drawing and pottery classes throughout high school, the Whistler marketer and avid biker felt a sudden need for expression. Living here, it's incredible. We have this amazing outdoor lifestyle. But after a couple of years, I realized that I, I needed something else. Like I needed a balance. There's a little creative part of my brain that was saying, hey, look at me. Philippa signing up for the Arts Council's Introduction to Drawing program last year. This her second year figure drawing. Along with community programs, she's also in the process of writing a book, reawakening a childhood passion often buried with age. People are really intimidated by the thought of putting something of themselves out on paper again. Um, perhaps as you get older you start to judge yourself a little more. So I think that's, that's a big part of it. And the amazing thing, it's so easy to pick up a pen. As one of my good friends from my drawing group says, if you can write your name, you can draw. A positive sentiment the Arts Council hopes to pass along to writers as well, offering its first writing course this spring, co-taught by Rebecca Wood Barrett. The writing class that we're offering is open to new writers, emerging writers, to more experienced writers. It's meant to be a very encouraging class for anybody who is starting out um, and the craft components will help people move their writing forward. As a writing instructor in Whistler for the past 12 years, the TV producer and director aims to inspire others on the numerous benefits of the literary world. Our seniors, they have a life story that they want to tell. And then younger people generally want to, you know, explore the world and make up stories. I encourage people after the class to form their own group and keep going. No matter the mode of expression, each creation is a celebration of that support and self-discovery, one as valuable to the artist as the admirers themselves. It's unbelievable because you can see even just day by day and drawing a little bit by little bit, you can see how far you've come. It's like a record of your personal growth. It's a part of a balanced lifestyle, just as much as doing exercise and eating well. It's essential.